Oh, this is the big upgrade. YouTube, I'm back, and I have an exciting uh, phaser update, okay? Um, I promised something big was happening with it, some cool uh, improvements. So, my homemade adapter plate, so many people emailing me, messaging me on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever, uh, how do I get this plate, how did you make the C-Box go onto your phaser engine? Because a lot of guys have a C-Box, and they're on a 582 and they want to upgrade to the four stroke phaser it has more power or less fuel burn why wouldn't you want to do that right so uh that was my motivation and that's why i made that original plate to adapt the c-box for my pusher right so um I, it worked and it was cool but selling that plate to other people and in the long run i think it could had a lot of room for improvement right so i wanted to make a cnc version that was more robust and I had set out and talked to a couple machine shops and trying to find someone that could produce this for me. And uh, it turned out my good friend Scott had just quit his uh, regular day job to pursue his passion of doing machine work. Perfect storm. So uh, we worked side by side to get this thing figured out and designed. And uh, he's really good with the CAD side and the machine work, obviously. And we were able to uh, figure it out and come up with this beautiful thing this is a billet c box adapter for the yamaha phaser engine okay so this bolts on you take this one off this is the stock cover off the engine okay and then put this on so this instead of having a plate and everything like i had before this has provisions right on the engine cover for the c box has a centering ring and it uses all the stock uh, bearings. So the Yamaha bearings go right in here. The Yamaha output shaft goes in there. And then you uh, would bolt the RK400 clutch flywheel on. And this is like the stock setup on the RK400 clutch. See how this, uh, this is the C-Box uh, spline adapter thing that goes on the clutch bell. Well, remember I had to cut down my C-Box to make everything line up right because it wasn't, uh, you know, the length wasn't right. So, there's the solution. Very simple, no big deal. Uh, it's just a little billet adapter that is self-centering. And what that does is it just pushes the, um, the bell housing out to engage the clutch where it needs to be. So... I wanted to make this a full bolt-on solution without any machine work required to make this work. Like, you get the parts, voila, you have everything you need to make it work and put your C-Box on. So, exciting times. Um, I'm getting into the flight testing phase with this thing now, but we're going to be uh, producing these for anyone that wants them. We're going to be selling these things, and it's going to be on uh, bkexperimental.com bkexperimental.com uh, link in the description and uh, I got some other stuff I'm selling on there you guys know about the speed converter I made uh, those are available now um, what else do I have I have some 3d printed stuff on there that are kind of cold specific some aerodynamic stuff um, yeah so hopefully we'll be adding stuff in the future on there but it's just a easy place to direct you guys if you're interested so yeah let me know what you think okay guys I'm gonna show you some uh more upgrades I did to the Firestar 2. Walk around it, talk about it a little bit before we do some test flying later. So, first thing you'll probably notice is the wheels and tires. I finally got those tires in. It took three months. I guess there was a fire at the manufacturing plant from Desser to get these uh, 21 by 8s, but got them on there. Super lightweight. They're actually a pound lighter than those uh, skinnier tires that were on this thing. Uh, those rims probably help. They're super lightweight uh, go-kart racing rims. Um, made made my own hubs. You can kind of see down in there. Mountain bike brakes, of course. And then I did something kind of cool. I, uh, I made my own gear extension um, to kind of make it more like a slingshot. Just to give it like a, a spindle lift, like a 5-inch lift to get it a you know, little better angle of attack. 
for uh, doing stole stuff. So we'll see how that works out. Um, what else did I do? Everyone was asking about a split lever brake lever, right? Just like on my Firefly. Could never find who made that. I think it was a one-off thing. I made my own. This is a 3D printed. Um, I'll throw in a little image of the CAD model I made. I printed it out of um, some special material here that's supposed to be pretty strong and UV resistant. But so far, so good. I mean, it's working. Um, aluminum would be better, but I have the file to get that cut now. But in the meantime, I'm going to play with this. I really don't need the brakes on this, so if they fail, it's not a huge deal. But why not try it? So that's pretty cool. I put those on the website as well if anyone's interested in uh, 3D printed dual brake lever.